combined, they governed Nebraska for 18 years. But one political strategist says Dave Heineman and Pete Ricketts represent different generations of Nebraska Republicans and different eras of the state GOP. Today, however, a show of solidarity in support of a candidate for Congress who they say will bring fresh blood to Washington in the face of political scandal. What a day and what an honor it is for me to be endorsed uh, by and supported by Governor Pete Ricketts and Governor Dave Heineman. Two Nebraska governors joined forces to endorse State Senator Mike Flood for U.S. Congress. Flood served in the legislature under both governorships. We must come together and get Mike Flood elected. Coming together, although the two GOP governors have not always seen eye to eye. I think it's a really big deal. Political strategist Ryan Horn says he can't recall a time when the governor of Nebraska did not endorse a sitting congressman from his own party. To have both of them say, essentially it's time for an incumbent of their own party to leave. Um, that, that's fairly unprecedented. It's an important thing. It's an important message to Republican voters. In the first district Republican primary, Flood challenges incumbent Jeff Fortenberry, who was indicted by a federal grand jury in October, accused of lying about foreign campaign contributions. Allegations he addressed in a statement released shortly after the endorsements, calling them, quote, particularly disappointing because I've counted on these people as friends and you hope you can rely on your friends to stand by you when you face adversity and what he calls false and unjust accusations. We respect and appreciate his service, but we don't want to risk losing the seat to a Democrat. Certainly, I think that Congressman Fortberry's got a lot of uncertainty with regard to whether he'll even be able to remain in the job with this indictment. Governor Ricketts says he told Fortenberry he's supporting Flood in this election, but he wouldn't go into specifics about that, quote, private conversation. The governors today emphasize they don't want to risk the seat flipping blue while praising Flood for being pro-life and pro-lower taxes.